You are a um, you gotta say it again. A creative creative business, business coach. coach. Yes. What the hell is that? <laughs> So it's basically where I teach creators and crafters how to turn their skill into a subscription-based program where people are paying them monthly to learn what it is that they do. Great. That's smart. But why? Why is that important? Because that's what happened to me, and I was able to take my business from zero to 100 real quick. So I'm like, people got to know about this. Mm. <laughs> what? What? I'm curious because when you say real quick, I think... Um, what you been doing this for like three years now? Um, I started in 2019. 19? Yeah. So like five years. Yeah. Okay. When when did you start doing the um subscription stuff? 2020. 2020. So from 2019 to 2020, a year. It wasn't even a year. I want to say I quit my job around November mm -hmm. and then in 2020 of uh May. So about that's probably about six. What months. made you go the sub subscription route? So fast, though. What made me go from just B to C to B to B, I was selling T-shirts, uh, did that $1,000, uh -huh. but then the T-shirts slowed down. Nobody was buying it. So I'm like, I got to go B to B. I got to start selling to other crafters. I got to teach to other crafters like me. So I went from selling T-shirts to consumers. Now I'm teaching businesses how to make their own T-shirts. I'm teaching them how to make other different things. And they want to know, okay, what else besides T-shirts can I make? Okay, I can show you how to design. Mm. I can show you how to set up your website. I can show you how to set up your LLC. But I can't do that with a one-time fee. Let me put it in a membership so every month y'all are learning how to grow your business. And they continue to pay. As long as I kept learning, I brought something back to teach them, and they continue to pay this every month. All right, so I'm thinking, so tie this in with me, because I'm thinking, like, I do podcasts. I'm in entertainment, right? Okay. So most podcasters and entertainers, we need YouTube. We need free Content, mm -hmm. because we're trying to grow. That's okay. how we look at it, most people, right? Okay. I just got into the subscription-based content because I understand the importance in a, in, when it comes to longevity. Right. And building a, uh, just like a, a following uh, community. A community yes. Right, exactly. I understand the importance now. But again, I still have this creative part of me like, we need YouTube. We need all these. We need Instagram because virality, right? right. If, I can, if I can get on there and go viral then I can have a bigger audience, then I can charge Definitely. more, then I can do bigger things, right? However, the subscription-based content is really the way to go. So what I'm asking is, as a business owner, how can we correlate that to creative too? Just curious. Can, or can you? Because like you you will want to go viral, right? You still got to make free videos and do oh, free definitely. stuff. Definitely. That's how you build a community. So you still got to promote on social media. Like, just because you got a subscription-based model, like, you still have to promote it, whether it's through ads, emails, SMS, organic content. It still got to be promoted to get people inside of that community to even pay that a month. Mm. So you don't get rid of, you know, marketing. You still got to market to get the people over. But I like to market free classes because if people see, oh, my God, she's giving that much free value, I wonder what that paid information like. How do you differentiate what's free and what's not free? So normally what we do is instead of me teaching them how to make a T-shirt, right? Mm -hmm. I teach them how to sell a T-shirt, how to market a T-shirt, what supplies they need for T-shirts, just like the whole basics of everything they need to know. And once they got all of that, they're going to ask me, how do I make it? That don't sound basic, though. That is? The the what? Why? The... the, the the supplies you need, you said? It's valuable, but it's something they can Google. So I'm like their Google. I'm going to give it to you for free. I'm going to tell you what vendors I use. I'm going to tell you what's the best products, what's the best time and time when you're heat pressing. And when you learn all of that, you're going to be like, that was so much free value. Now I want to learn how to make the T-shirt. That's when you're going to pay to join the subscription. Because I just gave you so much free game that you're like, wait a minute. Mm. I got to see what's inside of her membership. Yo, so let's go back real quick. And we're going to get into your story, but I'm just, now I'm learning myself. <laughs> so, but when you first was calling yourself a crafter, right. right? What was interesting to me is, it's like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, she just makes shirts. I'm thinking like crafting is like, I don't know, like making all type of designs and like toys and like, I don't know. It is. But like, you're talking about vinyl and I'm like, bro, that's just making a shirt. But why do you? Call it crafting. I'm just curious. I started off making t-shirts, but as a crafter, we creative. We want to come out with the next thing that's popping. So now we're making tumblers, we're making pillows, we're making coffee mugs, we're making rugs, we're making curtains, bed spreads. Like crafting is so broad. Like we can make banners, we can make floor wraps, decals. Like we wrapping caskets. Like literally crafting 
goes way above than just making t-shirts. So when, when somebody be like, oh, you a craft, you make t-shirts? No, I'm like literally changing the world over here because <laughs> oh. it's more than just t-shirts. And it's more than just vinyl. So you're probably talking about using like cricket, silhouette, vinyl. But then what I normally do, I do what we call sublimation. That's where you taking special ink, special paper, you run it through a printer. Once it prints out, you use a heat source. And it, when you press it onto polyester fabric, the image goes directly into the shirt. Direct to Vinyl garment. is more like, yeah. I wouldn't say direct to garment. It's more like, I mean, you can. Like a heat press? It's more like screen printing, like but you're not doing it with all the different types of paint. You usually just print out the design using the special ink, special paper. When you when you press it with the heat press, the image sinks inside of your shirt. Wow. But you can only use it on polyester fabric. So you can't use it like on cotton so, you know, you can use white polyester, whatever, the color shirt. As long as it's polyester fabric, it's going to work. All right. So let me not be selfish because I know some information. Let's start over real quick. Okay. I know you're going to tell us a lot, but for, for the sake of uh, the people that's watching, what made you get into crafting at first? So um, I tell the story all the time. So my kids had a basketball game. Mm-hmm. Um, at the time, I was working from job to job. or didn't really have the money, so Robin Peter to pay Paul. But I still wanted to put my kids in some activity to keep they keep them going. The coach came out with these hoodies, like, everybody need these hoodies. We're going to go on a away game. We want everybody matching in sync. I couldn't afford it. So my brother was like, well, we're going to find a crafter. I didn't even know about crafting. I'm like, what is a crafter? We're going to find a crafter. She's going to make the hoodies for you, and y'all going to wear those. We get the hoodies. We wear them to the game, and the coach like, yo, we don't even want those hoodies that we have. We want the ones y'all wearing. So can y'all make hoodies for the whole team? Mm. I'm like, wait. So people really do custom made, you know, hoodies, shirts. Yeah. So I reached back out to the craft and she was like, I'm not going to show you how to do that. You got to go to YouTube. Yeah. Like, uh uh-huh. I'll take that order, but I'm not going to show you how to do it. So I'm like, wait, YouTube, I go. Because right. if she's gatekeeping that much, it's money in this gotta business. Be. It got to be money in this right. business. And that's exactly what I did. I went to YouTube. And did you do the order or you? I didn't do the order. It took me a whole year to learn. Like, Man. that's what made me mad. That's what I talk about to this day. When you can just get up under somebody that's already where you want to be, you get there a lot faster. But I had a, it took me a whole year to master I was, it. It's funny. You said, I was just talking to my, uh, my guy. Shout out to the pro creatives in the building. I was saying, like, sometimes it's funny because I don't really do the mentorship. I don't do, I don't do none of that, right? Wow. But I do. Okay. It's, it's, like, I don't. But you do. But I do, right? Yeah. So, like, with my team. Like, that's really it. Like, with my team. Okay. So, um, and I was saying, like, bro, like, the benefit, and I hate, I hate saying this like this because I just, I don't know, I'm not that vain. Yeah. But like the benefit of working with somebody like me is like you want to skip steps. You, There's a lot of things that I learned that I had to, like what I was telling you, like there's a lot of mistakes that had yes. to be made for me to get to this point. We're talking about cameras and extra lighting and extra, yep. like, I had to not have that to mess up, to be in some real effed up predicaments right. to learn that I need an extra source of video or extra source of audio, right? And I'm like, when you work with people like that, you skip steps and that's yep. great. Right, but nah. So, I'm curious because she, did she offer to sell you the vendor? Because usually I've heard that, like coming to Atlanta, I've heard people say I'll sell you my vendor. She didn't know. She didn't do anything. But what I, I don't, I've never told anybody this. But anytime I've talked with her, like if she made previous orders, I'd be like, oh my god. She'll say, hey, we ran out of shirts here, so I'm finna go to JDS to get more. So I'm writing down what she texted me, Smart. like, oh, she go to JDS. Then she'll say. I'm finna go to um, Coastal Business and get more of this. Oh, she go to Coastal. So I'm taking, like, notes myself while she's telling me what she's doing for me. Mm-hmm. So when I came and asked her, she was like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that for you. I already got enough information to go ahead and take off. Mm. And then all I got to do is just go to YouTube and actually watch the how. Because now that I, I got the supplies, I know where to go get everything. So Wow. Okay, so, all right. Somebody, I'm, I'm doing some merch, right? Okay. Selling shirts. Somebody asked me, like, yo, where you get your shirts from? And I... And we like close. I went to the same fraternity, right? Okay. So I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, bro, why would I tell you? Because we got the same, the same audience, like the same people gonna buy my shirts, gonna buy your shirts. And, and the reason I, I my price point is so high is because because of, of the quality of my shirt. So if I give you my vendor, right, then you're gonna use the same exact quality. You might sell it for cheaper, whatever it can be. I ended up giving it to him. I'm curious. In that case. Why give it? Because you're giving vendors away for free. Right. Why not just charge them? You sound like my student. Like, mm. just because they doing what you're doing, they not doing it like you. At the end of the day, people don't buy products because of the products. A good shirt. Oh, it looks fine. They buying it because of you. You branded yourself. You so made- you tell me I can sell that shirt, the same shirt at a worst, at a 
Different quality, same price. That's the trendy. same bag I get at Chanel. I can go to the discount mall and get it, but I'm gonna go Chanel and pay 10k. Chanel has branded they sell. <laughs> Chanel has made you feel like this is quality. I don't care how much it costs, but the discount mall don't got it for cheap and selling it for thirty. I don't want that. I'd rather go spend all this money and buy a Chanel bag. I would so, feel bad doing that. Like really? I want you to have good quality. Like that's my like. It that's why I sell be it for what quality. I sell it for. It still got to be good quality. But if you giving him your vendor, I'm saying it shouldn't matter yeah. that he's doing what you're doing because he's not you. Mm. So you got to figure out how to brand yourself different to make people want to buy your products because of you, not because of the actual product. Mm. Okay. I ended up giving him the, the vendor anyway, but you feel me? But it's funny because I seen somebody else, she had hair. Yeah. And like she started, everybody loved the quality. So she was selling her vendor. Right. And I thought that was genius, but I never seen that before. Mm. So that's why when somebody asked, that was before somebody asked me. So I'm like, I mean, I could just sell it to you. You can sell it too. So you can do it to where I'm going to give it to the first 10 people for free. Get those reviews coming in. I'm testimonies like, yo, I tried his vendor. It really works. I was able to start my business. Now that you got social proof, okay, my vendor is now $200. It's mm. $300. But whoever you gave it to for free, like, yo, I'm going to give it to you for free, but it's got to be value for value. Give me a testimonial on what this vendor did for your life. And mm. I'm going to use that now to run ads, run emails. That's fire. So, but you give away vendors for free. Right. Why? I get testimonials in return. Anything I do for free, I get a testimony to run it towards something paid. Oh, you smart. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> oh, you're a little smart. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, what, made you, what made you say yo? Because somebody withheld the information from you. Right. What made you even think about it in that approach, though? Because I said I never want anybody to feel how I felt. If I could have just taught somebody the game, whether it was free, whether it was paid, it would not take them a year to get to where they got to go. And the longer they take, especially if I'm teaching them, the longer it's going to take for me to get that testimonial. Like, So I need you to learn up under me this fast so you can go spread the word. That word going to spread. That word going to... Now I'm getting money. I'm getting sales by default. So I tell people all the time, when you give value up front for free, the sales going to come. You don't always have to lead with pay me, pay me, pay me. Mm. Give that value and it's going to come regardless. And that's what, it's, that's what it's been doing. So, uh, so okay, it took for you one year to understand I need to go from B to C to B to B. Well, no. So it took me a year to just learn the craft game. Then it mm -hmm. took me another year to learn how to do what we call sublimation. Because at first I started out just doing vinyl. Like I said, that's the one you can peel off. Mm -hmm. But then in 2019, people like, I don't want vinyl shirts. Yeah. I want shirts with my faces on. I got to go to a funeral. Can you put my brother's face on his shirt? I want his face on a pillow or tumbler. I'm like, wait, what is that? That's not vinyl. That's called sublimation. So now I'm doing my research. So now I'm like, okay, let me go into sublimation. Did sublimation. It took off. Because everybody wanted. They want shirts. They want faces with the shirts on there. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, I wasn't able to, but I, I just got so caught up in like, yo, I just made $1,000 in a week. I'm going to quit because I want to yeah. go home. I want to make shirts. I want to do this full time. Not even knowing like people don't buy shirts every day. Right. Like, it's seasons for, it's yeah, I mean for everything. Seasons. Even I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. December come around, you're going to be hurt. <laughs> you're like, where well, ain't yet? He went there family. I'm like, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for you, it's probably lit in December. Yeah, like, it's lit. Okay. All right, all right, so hold up. But, because you told me it took a year to go from, like, starting to doing um To mastering. Well, no, it's, it took a year to learn how to just, what I need for the craft business, how to master making T-shirts. And then another year to And then another year to, to, no, another year to go from making T-shirts this way to now making T-shirts this way. So I went from vinyl to now I'm doing sublimation. That's two years now. That's two years. So when did you say... Yo, I need to go subscription base. When I quit my job, I'm at the house like, why is nobody buying t-shirts? Like I said, it's seasonal. I quit making a thousand dollars a week, but now I'm barely making twenty dollars. So what can I do? So I'm sitting on inventory still, even though they're not buying my custom t-shirts. I'm like, let me sell this inventory to other crafters like me. So like how you just said, okay. I'm gonna get my vendors away. I'm gonna do this. So now I'm crossing over to B2B. But before I start just trying to sell to anybody, I need a community. I created my first Facebook group. I reached out to a, other, a few other Facebook groups like, yo, shout me out because y'all got the audience that I need to sell this to. Right. They shouted me out. Now I'm in the group going live because I'm thinking everybody that's buying my inventory is supposed to know how to make it. Like, why would you buy tumblers and shirts and you don't know how to press them? What yeah, are you doing? Don't mean they didn't. They wanted to learn. It's like, look, we're going to shout with you because we came to support, but just show us how to do it. So I'm going live for free, just showing them how to use my products in order to buy the inventory. But then my community, it's very important, they like, well, coach, 
since you're selling the inventory, why don't you sell us the other products and supplies that we need to make it? So now they want sublimation paper. They want sublimation ink. At this time, I'm sending them to other people because it's like, I'm, I'm going to stay in my lane. Yeah. I'm only going to sell this inventory. My homegirl got this. My homeboy got that. But if your community constantly asking you for, I want your products, put your brand on it. So I came out with my own sublimation paper, sublimation ink. And then my community asked, well, thank you for the free classes, but if you're giving us this for free, do you have anything paid? Like, they want me yeah, they to push. Want to pay. Yeah, yeah. They want something paid because they like, this is valuable, but if you do something paid, I can imagine what you're going to do. So mm. listen to my community again. Now I'm starting paid subscription programs where I'm giving value every month, but it gets to a time where I only know so much. So now I'm reaching back into my community who know how to design in Canva and Photoshop. Okay, let me make you a coach in my program. Who know how to set up Shopify websites and LLCs? Because I'm not trying to do everything, but now I'm going to collaborate with people that's already up under me. Let me bring you up. I'm going to pay you to teach every week. So now I got this subscription-based program where I barely have to go live because now my coaches do everything. Mm. 